Hey friend, thanks for being here with me. My name is Tobal. Welcome back to more Mount and Blade Bannerlord. Last episode, we found a little tip that said Legata had a bunch of jewelry for sale at cheap prices. And sure enough, actually, uh, and there we go, can sell at Sargo for 333. So we're going to grab some of this jewelry since the jewelry at Sargo is so flippin' expensive or it can be sold for quite a bit up north. We're going to grab that. And I guess we'll grab a little bit of oil since it does seem to be uh, overpriced a little bit. Or underpriced, I should say. And that's about it for the moment. We will pay. Oh, God, that's a lot of money. Ooh, you know what? It's fine. We're going to make this money back. I promise you. Just kidding. I actually don't know. So we went below 2,000 gold. Okay, this actually was checked off here a minute ago. So you have to maintain 2,000 dinar in order to make this quest complete. So something to keep in mind if we want to, uh, to do that moving forward. We're going to turn around, though, and pretty much head right back to Sargo to try to sell the jewelry we have and see if we can't make a decent profit off that. We'll also kind of dip around every so often and try to sell the uh, the oil as well. And I am keeping an eye out for any, you know, any larger bands at this point. We have a, a decent sized retinue. They're not exactly the most, uh, you know, professional of troops, if you will. But there are troops, right? And isn't that what really matters at the end of the day? I think so. And uh, we'll try to fight some more bandit fight, you know, bandit uh, groups and whatnot. There we go. Into Sargo we go. Nice. And for our trade. What? Oh, no. The jewelry changed price. No, I can't. I can't have any uh, value now. Crap. Okay, well, I waited too long, apparently. Or maybe someone else got there first. You sneaky... Sneaky bastards. Was it you? Occur the fact door. Can I see any kind of a trade rumor? About jewelry? Like maybe where's a good place to, 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 to sell it at? No, there's no trade rumors right now. Crap. That's okay. That happens sometimes. So we bought it for roughly what? 270 or so? Or 250 to 270? So what we'll do is keep running around until we find a couple cities that want that for higher price. Let's see. Hey, there's a tournament around here. Oh, how exciting. The Black Heart is the prize. Prize is Black Heart. Okay. Can I join the tournament? Oh, I can. How exciting. This will be our first tournament. Tournament Heart. Oh, it's a unique two-handed weapon. How cool. Odin, Landian Footman, Erdurand. I think he's already won a fight before. I saw his name pop up in the bottom left at some point. Let's bet... A tiny bit of money. If you wager 100, you'll get 200 back. Let's just wager 100 dinar. I don't have a lot of confidence in my abilities yet. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, oh, crossbow. Oh, holy shit. Why do we start with such good skill in crossbow? And oh, it was just high. I wanted to snipe him. Hooray, round is over. Your team is qualified for the next stage of the tournament. What if I kill my friend? Will, <laughs> will that allow me to uh, have one less? We'll skip the round for the other people. This is really interesting. We're up against... It's a free-for-all this time. What do I start with? A massive, massive uh, two-handed axe. All right, here we go. Trying to fake him out, and he missed. Oh, big swing. Oh, no. Oh, it was a one-shot. Holy crap. No, I didn't want to die this early. Received 122 cut damage to the head. I love that it shows you what and where... Uh, you get your damage to in the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, well. Sadly, Air, Air Durand is probably going to take the, day, take the day. Tournament is over, and this bastard won. <laughs> the tournaments are very small. Like, it's a really small tournament. Oh, that was so much damage. 122 damage. Absolutely got shattered. At least our health is still at 100%, which is kind of nice. Let's go to another one of these large cities. Jekulan. Or Jaculan. Ooh, looters. Lots of looters. Uh, what's their speed? 3-4. We are at 3-4 as well. I'm bummed that we're so slow in the overland map. Maybe we should be aiming towards uh, promoting our troops to mounted cavalry to be a little bit faster. Also, this might be where the, uh, the passive bonus at the start when you're selecting your character's culture, there was one culture that does better in the trees. Was it Britannia, maybe? 
maybe, but that, that could have been relatively useful. Let's see, any different on jewelry? No, there's no jewelry price increase. We're stuck with our overpriced jewelry for a while, I think. That's fine. It's fine, I'm sure. Nobody wants anything here. I'll continue on for a bit. So I'm going to start getting into the point of this Let's Play where I kind of skip a bit forward now that we've got, you know, we're shaking off some of the new game excitement. We're starting to kind of get stuck in here for the long haul. So I will, uh, I'll kind of just keep exploring a little bit and I'll bring you, ooh, I immediately popped over to that camera. Um, I'll bring you back if there's anything exciting, but I'll probably start cutting out these little trips in order to speed everything along. Man, there's a lot of tournaments going on. I want to keep trying to join these tournaments. I probably won't won't bet any money, um, but I will at least try to keep joining in to learn a little bit more. Veta the Accursed is here. We've got some recruits, a billman. Odin is hanging out in here as well. Uh, yeah, sure, it'll be fun, I'm sure. Team battle. I could give my team some orders, but no, nah, we won't do that. Let's try to get this guy off the horse. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Guys, form up here. Nope, I can't do that. Oh, we're gonna go down here. Oh my god, three shots and I was out. Oh my goodness. I mean, it is on harder difficulty, but I still got all by just missing my block. So red team, sadly, has been slaughtered <laughs> at the lead or at the uh, uh, leadership of Odin did not quite take the field. Who aren't you a fancy looking dude? Who are you? I really like the animations and the and the the bloodbath here. Good God, the sword went all the way through his neck. I feel like he's going to have a bad time of it. Also, spear? Okay. Maybe you should have blocked, buddy. Maybe. I really feel like you should be embarrassed that you died to a spearman. Oh, God. Savage. All right, round is over. We'll go ahead and leave the tournament. We lost. I don't even want to see who wins. I just don't. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> uh, there are some quests up here. A lot of this artisan can't sell their products kind of a quest, but doesn't seem the best one for us because it's not quite... You know, it gives us that criminal, whatever, the criminal thing. Uh, Tavern District, Veda the Accursed. I don't think I've got money right now. And the farther north I go, or west, I guess, we're getting less value for jewelry. So I'm kind of stuck with a hot product for a bit. So here's to hoping we'll eventually see a shortage somewhere. Hey, we're finally able to get our first Imperial Infantryman trained up to trained infantrymen. Uh, so not quite as confused and bumbling as the other one. So 85 dinar, happily, happily. Get some upgrades there. Hey, are you moving faster? No, we're still super slow, but we are chasing these guys to the end of the earth. So we will have a bit of a, oh, come on, there we go. Um, I really like, I, I'd i be happy to simulate the combat, but I really just don't want to yet. I'm enjoying combat so much that I don't want to not experience it firsthand yet. Let's go ahead and see if there are God, nice open fields here. Let's put our Arrow, archers move. here. Uh, we're not gonna, oh, well, there's a river. Hang on, let's see if we can do this real quick. Forward. Infantrymen down forward. here. Ooh, we, we might be able to do this if they hurry. Yeah, they're actually really, really quick. So infantrymen hold there and we'll let our archers have oh, some man, fun no. up on the ledge. Take your shots, you fools. There we go. Lovely. We'll go ahead and charge. They actually all move forward a little bit. Maybe it's a discipline thing. Maybe your troops really aren't all that disciplined and they can't, uh, they won't hold their line. They'll kind of like, you know, like a wild, uh, barbarian group will just YOLO on forward. Nice job. We expect nothing less at this point, I hope, when it comes to just basic looters. You know, I feel like your, your raw recruits are a little bit stronger than the old recruits from Mountain Blade Warband. They definitely seem to have a little bit more oomph to them, which is very, very nice. Uh, I will happily take your grapes and butter. I start being selective with the stuff that we pick up once we're kind of away from a city a little bit. Yeah, I really do want to get this um, tier one clan, and then we're going to start doing the mercenary thing. Then we're going to be... Ooh, this will be a good fight. 18. Let's see if we can get some troops from Drapend. And then I might go chase down these guys here. That might be a kind of a fun fight. 18 looters probably is going to give us a decent amount of troops. Vlandians, we're going to mix up a little bit. Get a little bit of Vlandian blood in our system. I think we had a couple of promotions that we needed to hand out here. We did. Imperial recruit and an Imperial archer up to a trained Imperial archer. How exciting. Recruits first, man. Always the recruits go first. Get that, get that uh, shield meat wall in place. I'm going to shadow them for a minute. 
Hopefully they won't both turn on us. I don't think they do. There we go. They kind of flipped around and I'm going to try to get them into that little corner there if I can. I feel like we're both making a beeline for the bridge. I'm going to win. Aha! I've cornered you, you fool. The speed, I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little bummed about how slow I am right now. I mean, it makes sense because we're still not all that well trained with uh, horses and stuff like that. Crap. I could have handled that better, but we'll eventually catch up to him if we just let the game run. Should be an okay-ish fight. I really want to get stuck into these larger battles. I mean, like hundreds versus hundreds and stuff like that. Uh, once we do join up with some kind of an empire, we'll start, uh, we'll be able to start joining into their main battles, like faction versus faction warfare. That's what I really want to see is how the larger battles play out, because that's where you're able to have a lot of, uh, a lot of move! Uh, tactics and stuff like that come into play. Move! What kind of stuff can we do here? F1, facing, form, transfer, command, horses, advance, fallback, stop, retreat. So again, like I said before, there's no tighten up or anything. Shield wall. Form a shield wall! That's kind of cool. That That's basically a, a tighter formation, I think. I think I'm going to get off my horse for once. Let's dismount our sumter and do a little fighting on the ground. Because I feel like I'm on horseback, I always miss. We'll hold the line here as our archers get a little bit of their practice in. We'll, we'll do a little dodge, all right? And let's go! Oh god, my uh, my flank here, a little bit a uh, little bit heavy over here. I can't quite tell his attack animation. Odin gained a level from a kill, lovely, and everyone's pretty much dead. We'll charge this dude right here. Haha, <laughs> You thought you were gonna do a quick shot on me? Oh god, your hammer's freaking quick. Kill the looter. And mission accomplished. We won. There's a couple of our friends, allies, bodies on the ground. But in the long run, we still killed 16. They only killed three. Glorious day. Glorious day to the Thorsten, whatever my name is. Thorsten. Hatchet. Hammer. Other cool stuff. I forgot I was only trying to be selective about my loot, but it's okay at the end of the day. Let's head over to... Where did we start from? We went to... Wait, Praven, that's an, an, a city that we've known, right? Isn't Praven in one of the other ones? I feel like I've seen that name before. Let's head over to Praven to sell our ill-gotten goods. It's like ill-gotten original goods, and then we freed them. We liberated the ill-gotten goods. They are now liberated goods. I'll pick up a couple troops here in Ruland and then head over to Praven. We'll try Hogward, Hungward. No, we'll, we'll keep the same troops if we can. I did hire one of these guys, but we'll try to see if we can get back into Empire territory. Oh, we got a promotion, didn't we? We did. We actually have a level up. Ooh. What do we get? Uh, important for melee combat. It's bound to... So there's skills that are bound to it, of course. What's the upper limit here? It's still in the 50 range. What does scouting do for us? Spot tracks and hideout. Okay, scouting does give you Pathfinder stuff. Party movement during the day, party movement during the night, party movement by 1%, party movement, uh, bonus speed with high party morale. So scouting is what actually has some of the Overland map stuff. Uh, the Overland map speed. Don't even know what to put in for smithing yet. Can we do it like Skyrim and just make a thousand daggers? I'll go ahead and stick with maybe Vigor for the moment for our free attribute point. And we'll put some points into scouting since we just realized that that is something we can get uh, other stuff into. The um, the Overland map speed stuff. We have any skills that need to be chosen? Like any traits? No, no traits yet. We're up to 10 on trade. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Not that I can make a profit anywhere. I, I still have these this damn jewelry. <laughs> so freaking expensive. Ooh, a falchion. Heck yeah, man. 109 length. 77 cut. 93 swing. This is kind of cool. Broad two-hander. Can't use from horseback. Little symbol, I think, that tells you if it can be used from horseback or on shield. Or with the shield, sorry, or on horseback. Sell our fancy stuff. Oil is still underpriced here. Trade rumors. Still no good trade rumors here. Can sell at Legata for 84 or 80. I think that, that ship has sailed. Jaculan. Jaculan. 
<laughs> Jaculon, yes. That is exactly how we phrase that. Party upgrades as well. Imperial recruits. We'll put some more archers. Am I going broke or was that just how many troops were available? I think that was pretty much who, who had experience there. And finally, we will sell our prisoners to be ransomed. All three of you. There's tournaments everywhere. What the crap? I mean, I don't mind joining a tournament. I don't know if there's an entry cost. A destroyer? A destrier? How do you pronounce that horse uh, breed? Destrier? Destrier? Why can't we join? Oh, it's the it's on our round. Let's skip the first round. Join this round. It's one on one. Me versus a Val a Val. What is it? A, a Volgier? Oh God. Oh God. I'm gonna get embarrassed here. <laughs> Shit. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Oh, he faked me out. You little bastard. You fainted. You son of a bitch. No! All right. Well struck. Well struck. You big jerk. I'll get better, guys, I promise. It's, it, there's a little bit of a difference from Warband, and it's just enough to throw me off a wee bit. What can we do in the smithy, by the way? Anything different? Required materials. We can't unlock these items, though. We need wrought iron to unlock it. Or wrought iron to make it. Oh my god, look at these different blade styles. This is so crazy. What's the longest blade we can make? Um, Reach. We're looking for, like, one pen. I want the longest blade. Okay, let's look for base lengths first. That's 102 to start with. 111. 104 up to 114. 113 already up to 123. This is a iron flysia or flysia blade. This is so cool. I love that you can customize your weapon. Slightly rigid flysia or flysia blade. I really like the ones that have the most reach on them. They're really, really satisfying. 120 for this kind of curved saber. Also, speed is just as important, too. You want to be able to, to actually attack quickly with your whatever weapon you have. Parmeranian? We put a poodle on our sword. All the way up to tier 5, apparently. This is so cool. So very cool. Does this give you, like, defenses? Swing cut damage, handling increases the weight, I assume. So awesome. Wait, was there only, was uh, smithing only for weapons or is there armor too? We can smelt stuff down. Oh, this is kind of neat. Plus charcoal. Okay, so we do need some raw materials here. Let's see if we can find some charcoal to try out some of the, the smithing. Maybe you're able to level that up just through basic usage, like smelting items down. All right, looking for... For charcoal, friends, let's do by name here. No charcoal to be found. Do we have to make charcoal? Do we make charcoal by just burning wood? Hey, guess what? We can refine two hardwood into one charcoal. Cool. Where do we find hardwood? Again, let me go back to the trade menu. And there is some hardwood here. Okay, let's try this out. Let's do a little bit of hardwood. We're going to pay a little money for this to experiment. We'll go into refine, refine into charcoal, refine, refine, go back to smelting, and then we'll get like three, this is clay, right? What is this? This is crude iron. Let's get some actual iron, wrought iron, smelt you down, and then smelt you down. Hey, cool. Smithing part unlocked. So maybe as you're smithing items, you get to learn that, that item's uh, blueprint, which is kind of cool. What did we learn? Was it a cross guard? Whatever it was, I don't see it. But still pretty cool that that's how that system works. Only weapons right now. Maybe they're going to add more stuff down the road like armor too. I imagine they would. It could just be a tab between weapons and armor. All right, so we're at um, a little bit under on our party size. Let's go back into Empire Territory. Ooh, Ver oh, Varchek. That is from... The OG Mountain Blade as well. I do remember that town name. Some of the town names are coming back to me. Provend, I feel like, was a different name. Maybe close to that. Um, Varcheg for sure, I thought. Which other of these were names that were in the game? I'm going to read this as erotica every time. I'm sorry, I'm just going to. 
Look how yeah, look how how split off this group is from the rest of the world. This faction is just up here in their own little uh in their own little land. Sturgia. What kind of troops do they have? Do they have um archers? I'm leaning like they would have some decent archers up in the mountain areas. Um troop types. Sturgia. Archer. Veteran bowman. Bow of 130. Nothing like super amazing. All the troops seem very, very close together in terms of skill. I assume it's the specialties that will make the difference. Veteran Brotva. Are you an archer or are you a throwing person? I think you're a thrower. Yeah, you're a throw, a spear chucker. So the Brotvas are the spear guys. We've got shock troops, part of the normal tree. Yeah, very much looking forward to seeing the full troop tree on some kind of a wiki somewhere. Hey, finally a place that's going to buy all our jewelry for a high price. Thank God. Um, I'm going to give as much... I actually might sell all of this. I think we bought it for less than 280 So I'm going to sell all of my jewelry. I will keep our iron in case we want to do any more crafting. And I'm going to get rid of the oil just for fun. Are we out of food? Crap. I ran us out of food again. Oops. Consumable. Okay, cool. So that is a consumable item. Let's grab... Can we do like control click or shift click? Yeah, shift click will get you five. Uh, we'll still get tw oh, 1200 dinar for that. That's right. Well, this is a big trade deal. I wish I would have checked my trade skill before we came in here, but that's okay. That's fine. Hey, anything of value here that's really high value that is cheap? Uh, no, very expensive stuff here in the mountains. We are actually in one of the, um, oh, whatever this, this town is. Oh, it's the uh, Batanians. I thought we were still in the blue territory. But yeah, it's kind of up here in the mountains, so I assume it's harder to get stuff here. Thank God we got a bunch of money back. Let's go to the Tavern District. Let's see if we can find a companion. Why not? Gudra Longknife. Let's do it. Gudra Gudra. Look at that smirk. Look at that. She looks like Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina in medieval times. All right, so hello. My name is Odin. How are you? Um, I'm a lady who's gotten a reputation for doing a man's work better than a man. Nice. Well, then we want you to be with us. So, so hard to find a dependable fighter. I could use someone. Hey, she's cheap. Hooray. <laughs> she's 585 dinar. Excellent. Let's go ahead and hire her. This is our first companion. Very excited to see what we can start doing with a companion in the party. Let's also, once we get back into Empire territory. Oh, oh, maybe we can start getting a larger retinue because we assign people to different. Ooh, hang on. What do I do with you? Can I chat with you? First off, no. You are a wanderer. You have skills in the stabby. You actually have really good skills. You're a little devious. You're generous, but devious. How strange. Uh, I think it's going to be under clan, right? Yeah, there we go. So companions, what do we have? We have kick from clan. That's pretty much it. Traveling to Maru uh, Maruneth? Maruneth. I think she's in our party, though. How do we separate her out? Great new party. Clan doesn't have empty party slots. Okay, so once we go up a level in our clan, I think we'll have a second party. So that must be where we're able to get over the, the cap. So we can only have 21 troops. Maybe she can have like 20 troops as well. And then we'll have a larger group. That's, you know, we're someone's being led by a different person, maybe, so to speak. Very cool. Let's go ahead and leave this place. We've got food. I assume she's with us. I don't have to like wait on the menu for her or anything. Yeah, Gudra Longknife, she's hanging out with us as well. Can we, um... We can't, we can't go directly to her and take a look at her stuff. So she has... Oh my god! What the crap? She's like, amazing actually. Look at these skills. She is... Hit points increased by three. Uh, one-handed weapon, she's better with one-handed weapons. And a mace, apparently. Okay, good to know. Remember to give her a mace. That is what she already has on her system. Two-handed weapons get, um, with less than 85 speed, get 2% higher speed and more damage. So, slower speed two-hander is better for her. This is great. What about inventory stuff? What about gear? Sure enough, same thing. So, she is equipped with a tapered northern blade. Can't have that. We will be upgrading her very, very soon. Let's get back over towards Legata. Or Legata. 
I guess we are still trying to go that way. It's just a long trip down the mountainside. I'm so excited to start seeing these large scale battles come into play though. Very, very fun. Fun with air quotes, because I'm sure I'm gonna get my ass handed to me quite often. All right, so we're back in kind of the, uh, the, the empire territory, if you will. So I'm gonna start floating through here, looking for bandits to kill. I kind of don't wanna make our party size any bigger because it really slows us down and kind of prevents us from chasing down those bandits. So we've got six archers. I'm going to keep stocking more infantrymen up in here, up in here. I really do want to move up to the next tier. Where are we at? Renown of 35. Just more battles, I think, or quests as well. Maybe there's some good quests we can do. Ortizia seems like a relatively big city. Hey, we still need to find the king, I think. Didn't we still have that quest that says uh, investigating this uh, Nerezza's folly? Someone mentioned in the comments, by the way, the introduction tutorial does explain what item you have. So my bad, I did not quite do the tutorial, so I did not get to see the cool story about that. Oh, no. Uh, Gurangolia has been looted. Sad day. Who are you? You're Eronix. Eronix, apparently. We got a lot of people with quests here. Julia or Juthis the Rock. You have an overpriced raw materials and you have fencing stolen goods. What's this overpriced thing? I don't want to do stuff that's going to keep giving us criminal points because I feel like that's going to come back to bite me in the end. I don't know. Maybe there's a certain amount of points you need before you get turned bad, so to speak. Hello, sir. I'm Odin. How are you? A wicked man. I'll mark your name. I heard you need help. Um. Oh, is this the same thing? No, I really don't want to do this right now. That was, I, did, I thought that was a different title of a quest, but it looks like it's the same one we did before that's going to give us the, the bad boy points, and I really don't want to do that. I'm going to keep looking for more trade items. I guess at this point, we're in kind of the quasi-early to mid-game where you're just recruiting up your troops. Cheap oil. Let's buy some cheap oil. Remember that I bought this all under 100. There we go. So that was all purchased. I completely canceled out because I'm special. I'll go back and do that again and be right back. This is kind of cool. I went to the arena and apparently you're able to see a leaderboard of how many people. I think this is victories in the arena or during a tournament, which is kind of cool. There we are, you know, way down here. <laughs> Let's practice some fighting. I need to get a little bit better at fighting. So only way to do it is to get stuck in a bit. Let's throw some spears at bitches. Wait, this is a spear, not a throwing spear. There we go. There's our throwing spear. Javelinin. Javelinin. Oh. Oofers. You know, we had a really good accuracy for not having any skill in- Oh god, right in the back! Holy crap! You bastard! How rude. I- What the shit? He must have shot too much. Oh! Okay, shield does not 100% protect you. Maybe I should have done a little bit of rotation to the side. Yeah, pick ourselves up and- Oh, hey, we get our health back. Cool, great, we don't have a shield, though. Do <laughs> left and right. Okay, they are not great at uh, losing sight of their target. Better juking is required. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Just right into the- Right into the maw of the- of the enemy. One more time, one more time. We're, like, invincible, apparently. Except, oh god, it hurts. Let's get some archery going. We haven't tried any archery yet. Oh, shit. Watch out in the crowd. Apparently throwing weapons, though, pretty decent at the start with no skill. I'm afraid I'm like paranoid someone's going to pop in here. Ah, see, we'll have a duel. We'll have a duel, you and me, my friend. Haha, -ha! 33 damage delivered. Headshot. Imperial Archer destroyed in the back. God, we're like a little sniper here. I'll just never leave. I'll just keep in my castle and stay here forever. What the shit? I'm like a thousand miles away. I'm so proud of that shot. I've got my tongue out like a kid has his tongue out when they're working on hard. Oh god! Uh, on things that are challenging. Go away, Spearman! <laughs> blocking a bit. Okay, directional blocking is on. I'm awful at directional blocking. I always have been. I knew I should have done better in banner in uh in, in uh, leading up to this with uh warband. 
At least we still get to keep our health. Getting some practicing in the arena is actually really, really useful. All right, back to the town center we go. And I do think, my friends, it's time to just about put a cut in here. Anything else we want to check on? We, we could get more troops, but I think I want to stay away from troops for just a minute. We're having a lot of uh, difficulty chasing down bandits. And I want to stay... Actually, you know what we could do is... Let's bring you up to me. Let's drop the recruits. Sorry, friends. I'm releasing you from your duties. Dropping the recruits. We're, we're a little quicker, I think. Let's see if this helps out at all. We still have some money. We still have... We're losing 33 per day. So we definitely aren't rolling in the deep, as they say. Hey, Apis, who are you? You look fancy. I love this, like... The bros are here beside them. This is so cool. Uh, my name is Odin. How are you, Lord of Ortizia? Uh, Lucan has some thoughts about that. Do I know where you are? Last seen near Jericho's today. This is cool. Oh, that's how you track it. Okay. Thanks for the information. Oh, and it shows up over here like that. That's really cool. So when you track a city, it's... God, you're like a thousand miles away. Holy crap. So, you're somewhere over here. I guess we need to head in that direction to get more information on this quest. That's kind of cool. So, wherever you rotate to, it's going to keep that town in sight. Awesome stuff. Alright, guys. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Mount and Blade Bannerlord. Starting to get our feet underneath us. And figuring out how everything works. I'm hoping that really soon we can get into... The clan tier two. Ooh, this is a really massive. Holy crap, look at this army. This is interesting. I don't think we've seen an army yet. What is this? Are this. Oh, these are a bunch of different people together all in one. Cool. Let's take a chat, see if we can chat with them. Hi there, I'm Odin. How you doing? Um, something to discuss. Can you tell me a battle about any information? Just kind of close the chat. I wasn't done talking to you, friend. Um, quick question. Never mind. Can't ask them anything. Discuss anything. Enter the service of Emperor Garios and still can't do it until Clan Tier 1. Okay. Good to know. So armies, maybe that's how you're able to combine multiple lords into one. Because it looks like there's three separate lords there that are all piled into one cool little, uh, cool little horse against nature. Good stuff. Hey guys, thanks again for joining me for this episode. I will see you again in a new episode very, very soon. If you have any questions or comments or you want me to try something out, please do let me know in the comment below. Also, please do like, subscribe, and uh, it does help bump the video up higher in the search results, which is really important when a game like this is out. So I do hope you're enjoying it. Until next time, friends, I really appreciate you being here with me and sharing your time. Enjoy your day, you know, wash your hands, stuff like that. And until next time, take care.